Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we will discuss about another topic related to COBOL, where we will learn how to include else condition with if conditional statement. Along with this, we will also learn what are those scenarios where we can utilize if else conditional statement. Because in previous session, we learned how to use if statement, right? We, there we were used only uh, the if statement in order to uh, run particular lines of code in a specific scenarios, right? But today in this session, we will uh, enhance that code and we will also include the else part. Because in programming, if uh, you want to make a proper conditional statement, then sometime it, it is needed to run the code in if else conditional statement. That means if a particular condition is true, then we will run that code. Otherwise, there should be some lines of code that we will run when the condition is false. And that code, uh, that piece of code resides in a else block. Okay, so to make it simplified, I have already created one program. I'll quickly uh, walk you through this program. We will understand line by line each and every line of this code. Okay, because I'm assuming that some of you are not uh, from the programming background. So just for those uh, persons, I'm going to explain if, if, else, and even the entire program in a scratch mode. Like we will start from a very scratch and we will proceed with step by step with every, uh, with proper uh, description of all the things that we are using here okay fine so let me take this program in edit mode and we'll start so as uh, we always do firstly I'm starting the identification division you can see this is the identification division now on this identification division uh, mainly we use this code in order to set the uh, program identity so from here you will find all the information related to the program identity for example here you can see we have program id which is indicating the program name program id showing test pgm and it is equal to the program name so we always kept it as a as same as the program name because this is mainly used for program id okay then we have author now author name is texture myth author is the person who have written this code so this is how we can set the author name in this identification division so this division or you can say this block is mainly used in order to set the identity of the program or to denote the identity of the program now remember one thing if you have not covered the previous session uh, like there we have already discussed why we have kept this position uh, blank and is there any specific position from where we have to start so each and every basic thing we have already covered in previous session so if you have not covered the previous session then I request you to go and check out the previous session first because each and every session in, is in proper sequence so if you follow the sequence then it would be much easier for you to understand the basics right because for now we are just focusing on the conditional statement so fine we will start further so after declaring the identification division I have kept these three line as a comment so these are the comment line just to show you the topic of the today's session which is conditional statement if else after that we have initiated the data division block so from here it will start the data division data division what is data division what is working storage section this is also covered in previous session so we will move further so after working storage section we have declared one variable so here to declare the variable we will follow the same syntax firstly I have declared the level number which is 0 1 then we kept the variable name which is candidate age after that we have space and the picture clause so this is a picture clause pick 93 okay it is indicating that this variable will hold the numeric value up to uh, three digit numeric digits okay so maximum length is three three numeric digit then we have value clause value clause is optional but in this example we need to put value because we are assigning the value from this only so here I have kept the value as 10 so what this 10 will indicate it is indicating that this value this variable holds the value 10 clear and this variable we are going to use further for the demo of the if else statement after declaring the variable we have initiated the procedure division 
प्रोसीजर डिविजन इज मेनली यूज टू इन टू राइट द लॉजिकल पार्ट लाइक ऑल द मेन मेन लॉजिक पार्ट वुड बी कम हेयर इन साइड दिस प्रोसीजर डिविजन क्लियर सो लेट्स सी हाउ वी आर यूजिंग ए फेल्स कंडीशन टूगेदर सो फर्स्टली लाइक इफ वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड बट स्टिल आई रिपीट दिस बिकॉज इट इज रिलेटेड टू एल्स पार्ट सो हेयर यू कैन सी वी आर चेकिंग फॉर इफ कंडीशन इफ कैंडिडेट एज इज ग्रेटर दैन एटीन then in that case it will execute all the code present between if and else block so this is the if and else block so if if condition is true then in that case it will run all the lines of code which is present between if and else only okay fine but if that condition is not satisfied if that condition result as a false then in that case it will only execute the part which is present in between the else and end if block clear so if condition is true it will execute the data or lines of code which is written between if and else but if condition is false or maybe any other issue everything will be considered as false condition right so in that case it will only execute the code which is written between the else and end if block clear at a time only one condition can be satisfied because either your value could be true or false if it is true then it will execute the code written in between the if else block and if it is if it returns false then it will execute only the code which is written in between the else and end if block clear fine after that after in end if there is no conditional statement so it will run all the lines of code whether it, let's say if there are written more lines it will execute that because it will conditional statement will only work from if to end if okay this is the conditional part the rest of the code will be work as expected clear so let's talk about this example here we have stored the value as 10 so if you pass candidate value as 10 and if you uh, check here 10 is greater than 18 no it is not so that means it is a false condition so in case of false condition it will execute the code which is written between the else and end if so this line will get executed not the above one because this this will run only in case of positive or true result and as we know that 10 is not greater than 18 so it will execute only the code written between else and end if after that it will simply print the further lines of code execute the further lines of code clear and similarly let's say if, uh, the value is 50 so in that case 50 is greater than 18 yes it is so it will only execute this line it will not execute this else part and simply end if here and move further clear fine so to understand it uh, more clearly what we can do we can take in debug mode i have already taken this program uh, i have already compiled this program with source but if you have if you don't know how to compile let me tell you take 14 here you can write dbg view and star source like this okay and then you can hit enter so it will ask to delete existing object if you have already compiled but i am not going to compile it because it is compiled already so i'll take f12 from here so my code is in source mode only so i'll take directly it into debug so to debug str dbg f4 provide your variable name sorry uh, program name then library after that you can put your uh, options as yes and enter so it will take a few seconds and then it will show you the debug screen on that debug screen you can uh, put the breakpoint and you can uh, execute your program line by line to see the to see the workflow like how it is working right now okay so you can see here we are here we will set the br1 as a breakpoint press f10 and call the program after calling you can see firstly it uh, goes to procedure division because in debug it will not show anything here okay main logic is after procedure division as i already to tell you right so if i press f10 here it will check for candidate age so if i take f11 here candidate is 10 10 is greater than 18 yes it is oh sorry 10 is greater than 18 no it is not so in that case what it will do it will simply press f we can press f10 to see the next line and it will directly go to the else block why because 10 is not greater than 18 okay so it is printing this message non eligible for voting 
after that it will simply go to the further lines of code which is thanks for using voting verification and there could be any other lines also right then stop run and we are done with the program clear let me show you another example if I call this and this time I'll change the value inside debug only okay right we know that this value is, been, is already assigned but in debug we can change it for temporary purpose so let me change it so for changing the value you can write eval candidate age space means variable name after that I will assign it 50 so now if I check the value of candidate age it is showing me as 50 which is fine right because we have changed it so now it is not holding 10 it is holding 50 because in debug we have changed it temporarily this time it will check for the condition and this condition is true because 50 is greater than 18 and in this situation when you press F10 it will execute this line because this is true condition so it is showing message eligible for voting and it will not go for else block because one condition is already true so it will simply go to the next line which is here thanks for uh, using voting verification and stop the program then okay so yeah now I'll end the debug so these are the all step that we should take care of while declaring the if else conditional statement I hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching TechShare Myth